you, in the last two decades. Every luxury brand decided it needed an SUV to remain relevant in the market gone bonkers for tall wagonoids. Well, almost every one, you, to any truck that we know of. Although it would almost certainly be, as the Donald says, you, the influx is because buyers have shown no squeamishness toward SUVs from traditional luxury and sporting brands, and the only real trick is translating an exotic label, S core values into a four-door hatchback. Mall crawler, you, Maserati unabashedly declares victory in that effort by calling, you, the Maserati of SUVs. And now that we, they pounded some of Northern Italy, S pavement and what is likely to be the closest thing to a Ferrari off-roader that we, will ever get, at least for a while. We, rebuying the sales pitch. The gleaming silvery trident has been thrust into the truck genre in a way that stays true to the Modeni's boutique, S strongest selling points. Taking, you, for its guts. The Levant both improves on that vehicle and offers character that is distinct from every SUV that has preceded it. No small accomplishment, but as Maserati CEO Harold Wester says, it should be good. We, they've been working on it for 13 years. A reference to the original 2003 Maserati Cubane concept. You, it is best to think of the Levant, named for a wind in the western Mediterranean as a Ghibli wagon in the mold of U line. That means it is a primarily on pavement, all-weather fast hauler with just enough all-wheel drive capability and driver selectable ride height range to provide some decent trail abilities. Like the current crop of Maseratis, the Levant is fast, it is ferociously loud when it needs to be, and it rings the bejesus out of a corner. But it is even better than the